What's going on horror fans and welcome back to the most hauntingly horrific channel on YouTube, the place where the altar is set and the summoning is about to begin, top 5 scary videos. As per usual, you know the drill by now, I'll be your host Jack Finch as we don our ceremonial garb, light the beacons and take a look at 5 scary modern cults that still exist today. What do you think the average IQ of this group is, huh? Can you see Texas up there on your high horse? What do you know about these people? I think it's safe to say that nobody here is going to be splitting the atom, Marty. Religion is a language virus that rewrites pathways in the brain dulls critical thinking. I hope you enjoyed our recent scary ancient cults video where we managed to take a look at some of the more perplexingly perverse forms of religion in humanity's early history. But the thing is a lot of the same principles of secrecy, brainwashing and centralised worship are still applicable to organisations that exist today. If you've never heard the term cult of personality then look it up because with the right amount of charisma, misinformation and bad intentions the correct person can do some really scary stuff. Kick Kicking off at number 5 we have the Church of Bible Understanding. Founded in 1971 by Stuart Trail, this communal organisation was originally known as the Forever Family at its home location of Allentown in Pennsylvania. It gathered steam in the late 70s after moving its headquarters to New York where it developed a controversial network of churches and communes and amassed over 100,000 members at its peak. Bizarrely enough, Trail's motive was to encourage members to break off contact with their families forcing them into their communal lifestyle and working essentially as free labour for a number of businesses. These included a carpet cleaning business and a used van venture. The group has been accused of being a cult on numerous occasions and it's suspected that their leader Stuart Trail became a multi-millionaire from the exploitation of young vulnerable adults. In later years after a string of controversies its members dwindled to a few hundred but recently in 2013 the church was accused of gross misconduct at a number of their orphanages in Haiti despite claiming to spend 2.5 million dollars on their upkeep annually. Next up at number 4 Realism. One of the most notorious cults in modern history, Realism began in 1974 after a Frenchman named Claude Vauhelon claimed he'd had a vision of an alien spacecraft descending over southern France. He said that the craft was filled with strange beings that told him humans were the only hope for the future of the universe and then handed him a bible. Apparently he was there for over 6 days and the head alien, coincidentally named Yahweh, explained that the old testament is actually a record of humanity's early early days and that he needed to construct an embassy ready for the aliens when they would eventually return to inhabit earth. Sounds pretty kooky right? Well for the next 3 decades his teachings amassed a following of over 20,000 people where they essentially worshipped aliens, opposed violence, championed science and participated in mass orgies. Whatever floats your boat I guess. Well things got even weirder in 2002 when the cult claimed to have done the impossible and cloned a human, a baby girl named Eve. Of course everyone went nuts, even the White House got involved, lawsuits were filed but the realists stuck to their guns and still to this very day claim to be still producing human clones. Coming in at number 3, Congregation for the Light. Now the majority of this list are organisations that are happily out in the open, that try and amass as many members as they can get under their leadership. Well these guys like to do things a little bit differently. Strangely enough though, they like to be out in the open, avoiding the backwater compounds synonymous with many other cults and instead having their headquarters deep in the heart of Manhattan. They're controlled by one all powerful leader, Tom Bear, a 73 year old Ohio native who denies that the light is a cult. He preaches bizarre racial theories regarding Aryans and Atlantis, preps his people for a doomsday event, speaks about complex mythology involving owls and squirrels and has an all powerful grip on the relationships and love lives of its members. The Congregation of the Light is an incredibly small cult having only roughly 200 members but the scary thing is how secluded the group are with the majority of them being born into the light. Bringing us in at number 2, Happy Science. Happy Science, well its name definitely doesn't reflect the tone of its actual nature. In fact as far as terrifying modern cults go, Happy Science is probably near the top of the list. An absolute mishmash mashup of world religions from new age hocus pocus to far right nationalism. The leader of happy science, a man named Raihuo Akawa claims that he's a supreme being called El Kanter, a 
combination of Jesus Christ, the Buddha and the Prophet Muhammad. Formed in 1986 by the former salaryman, Akawa initially called the group the God Light Association. His pursuit is to create a nine dimensional heaven, whatever that may be, with himself at the head of the whole cult of personality shenanigans. Here's the kicker though, the group claims to have over 12 million members worldwide and have also founded their own political wing called the Happiness Realization Party. And here's the crazy part, this group advocates violent Japanese nationalism, denying historical atrocities and advocating for war between China and North Korea. Let's hope they stay just a cult, right? And finally at our number one spot, Nexium. If you're wanting to find a modern cult that is incredibly recent, then look no further than Nexium. According to their website, Nexium is a company whose mission is to raise human awareness, foster an ethical humanitarian civilization, and celebrate what it means to be human. Well, apparently that translates to being at best an abusive pyramid scheme, and at its disgustingly worse, a human trafficking operation and sex cult subsidized by expensive brainwashing. Nexium and its owners have been indicted on several federal charges, including sex trafficking, and have been accused of being a recruiting platform for a cult operating within it, variously known as DOS or The Vow, where women members in particular were forced into sexual slavery and physical abuse. It's a disgusting modicum of the abuse of power demonstrated at the expense of vulnerable individuals. The cult was found in 1998 by Keith Ranier, who through several decades of deception managed to coerce over 17,000 under the organization's influence. This has included a huge amount of celebrities, actors, actresses, models, and other public figures. The lid was fully blown open in March 2018 when Ranier was arrested and federally indicted, shortly followed by other important figures in the cult. Well, they go to trial in October. 2018. Well, that's the end of that list. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comment box down below. As always, guys, it's been a pleasure making this video for you all, and I hope you've enjoyed it. If you're a fan of this list or just top five in general, go ahead and give us a great big thumbs up. And why don't you hit that subscribe bell so you can stay up to date with our latest and greatest uploads. As always, you've been watching Top 5 Scary Videos. I've been your host, Jack Finch, and until next time, you take it easy.